Uh, it's Ken here again, triathlon knee setup stuff. We're going to go over the uh, navigation instruments and setting up the cutting blocks. Um, this goes along with the video I did earlier about the total knee setup. Um, so out of your navigation tray, what you're going to need is you're going to need two trackers, which is a blue and a green, um, and your pointer. We'll take those over here. Um, you can put the batteries in them. I'm not going to do that part of the demo because it wastes uh, to throw the batteries away. You snap the batteries in each one of these trackers. They go in these little spots here. It tells you on the side how to do it. Um, and then you're going to push this button on the side and aim this tracker with these little windows towards the navigation machine, which isn't in the room right now. You just kind of wave it around like this. While you're holding the button in, it will ding and tell you. It'll check mark on the screen that it's activated. Then you go to the next one. And after each one is activated, you need to activate them together and sync them. And to sync them, you hold the button down on this one, hold the trigger down on the gun, while they're held together like this. And you can see these little uh, indentations here. There's one on each side. Put this in here, pull both buttons, wave it around in front of the navigation machine, and it will click, and then it'll tell you that you're on the next screen. When you know you're on the right screen, it will say confirm which side, which treatment side, left or right. Um, next thing we're going to do, back over here, we're going to get some more parts out. You need a screwdriver. You need this uh, pin to put your tibial pin in with. And you need these two brackets. So I'm just going to set these down and I'll come right back to this tray. We'll use those in a little bit. Um, the other thing you need is a right and left bracket. To, uh, to make it more easy, uh, simpler to re remember, uh, navigation always goes medial. So whichever knee you're doing, right or left, your navigation is always going to be on the medial side. So if you remember that, the navigation trackers attach to these uh, posts um, like that. And then the post like, um, looks like that. And then the one that would go on your tibial side will look like this. They always attach to these, so it will always be medial. So you can just put these together uh, initially however you want. Snap yourself a tracker uh, adapter in here. It says medial. It only goes in one side. If you try to put it in the other side, it will not work. Um, grab both of your brackets out of here. You've got this. That's all the components you need out of that tray. So you can just set this down. You can then decide if this is set up for a left knee, which I did earlier, you would want to look at the brackets. If it's left, then that would mean this tracker would be medial on the left side. So that's correct. So that's the bracket you need. This bracket would be for the right if you're doing a navigation this way. Um, the other part of the navigation you can do, you can use this for your tibia um, tracker, but that's not how the, we actually do the navigation here. We use a pin. The next part of the navigation is this pin here has to be the other half of your navigation. Um, and the way that, let me just explain quick how this goes on. So there's a button on here. When you put these together, you just push in this button and snap it on there like that, and then it'll rotate around wherever the doctor needs it to be to, to face the navigation machine. So you'll actually hand it to them like this um, once you're ready to use the navigation. Now we're going to put together the tibial cutting block. Tibial block, you need a few things out of this tray. We're going to grab this long rod. We're going to grab the zero degree slope, because we use zero degree slope here. Um, and we're going to slide this bracket together. Um, anything that's on the triathlon system that's gold is a button or it moves. So if you see these gold pieces, they move or bronze color. So I'm pushing that in. I'm just going to slide it up here to somewhere in the middle. It doesn't have to be a certain spot right now. The next thing you're going to need is the uh, second part of that. You have to put that on first. Then you'll slide these two pieces together. Just push in another gold button. Let it slide down somewhere in the middle. Another gold button here. You'll slide out the ankle clamp uh, adapter or part. And then the back here is a button also. I like to push it in with my palm or with my arm. Push it in with your palm, grab the ankle clamp. Always have the, the notch side up so they can decide where they're going to put the um, clamp once it's on the patient. I put it in the middle and let go of the button. Your clamp is together. So once that's together, the next piece that you need is uh, in your cutting block tray, which comes up. So we're doing a left. Here's your left bracket. You also have a right in here and this goes on you pinch these gold tabs again just like I said this faces the patient that way and your bracket set up now our navigation pin that we had over here then goes in this side which would be medial so this is going to then you can kind of do it visually on yourself if you're doing a left knee this would clamp on my left ankle and this would be facing medial and this bracket here would be attached to my femur and it would be medial 
So these are both set up correct for medial on the left side. Andy, do you try? Go. So that's probably pretty much the end of what you need for navigation. Um, really short, quick video about that. There's more details to it and tricks you can do and how you can control the navigation from the field or from the uh, console, but that's a good start. So then we're going to move on to another video about putting our uh, cutting blocks together and handles and how those things work. So that'll be in the next video. All right. All right, back with more triathlon knee stuff, uh, striker triathlon system. Um, the uh, cutting blocks, uh, we have things in a flash pan here. You also have cutting blocks in your trays. Uh, we use these custom cutting blocks that were made for the guys here. Um, so you'll get a tray that looks similar to this uh, if you were here. Um, they have tibial base plates in uh, the trays, but we have locking tibial base plates. All that means is that these uh, retaining, uh, retain the uh, poly insert when you put it in the patient. Uh, it doesn't pop out as easy. So that would be a four. So let me get a five and I'll show you. So when you put this in here, it snaps in. It doesn't come out readily, very easily. If you put it in the non-locking base plate, um, falls out. So that can be a problem on the field. So the locking base plates are much better. Um, so we're gonna go through a few things that we always start on the femoral side. So for the femur side, to get to the cutting block, we wanna set up a guide. We need to know what side to measure or what size to cut. So we've got a right and a left block in here, and we've got a, um, this goes underneath your femoral condyles. So uh, you can use uh, short or long feet. Um, as you can see, the feet on these, these are the feet. This is long and this is short, depends on what the surgeon's preference is. So we'll work with the short-footed one. Let's say we're still doing a left knee. So we would push this button and we would set this up for three degrees left because that's what the physicians here like. So that's on three degrees. You always want to make sure that this little dial, which lets you dial in, is on zero. And they may change that during the setup, but that's where we're going to start. Then we grab the left block out of here. This says left on it. You flip up this little uh, tab and you slide them together like this. And then you flip that shut, and it's done. That's, that's ready to go. The only other thing you need out of this tray is your sizing guide, which was right here in the tray, and I put it over here on this table. It's right there. And this will sit on top of, when they put this on the uh, femur, distal femur, they will set this in here, and they will dial this in and put this on the top of the femur and decide where they want to uh, make their cut so that they don't notch. So um, let's say, you know, it would stop there. It says on this side that that would be a four, if the doctor says, okay, it looks like a four, he'll take this off. He'll drill two peg holes here with the peg hole drill, which looks like this. Drill two holes. This is usually pinned on with either top hat pins or pins from a pin driver. Um, once the holes are drilled, they'll pull this off and they'll ask for a cutting block. So your cutting block, uh, we set a four, so we're going to find a four cutting block which is right here. It says four on both sides right there. This goes on, it only goes one way. The fours need to be up. And the handle for that is right here. You pull the trigger on this handle, it moves this little tab, and you just slide it in from the side. And you get it in the right spot. And it just clicks in. Right there, and it just slides together. So you just put it in, and when you release the trigger, it holds and it will stay on there. You put this on the patient, put some pins in it to hold it in place, and make your cuts. Then you move on to, now you know your size is a four, then you can move on to a four box if you're gonna do uh, posterior stabilized, or you leave that and move on to your tibia most likely if you're gonna say a new cruciate retaining which has no box. Um, so for the box, you need a handle, you need uh, the size four, which is right here. Handle goes on like that. They will also pin this on the femur, and then they'll use a chisel. Chisel I loaded already is right here. When this is on the patient like this, it will be sitting free with pins holding it in place. They will hammer this chisel down until it hits the stop automatically in the back. They usually take a saw and then saw this notch out, pull this stuff all back off and take the notch out. Now you've made and created a notch for this box to stabilize your joint. Um, so there's a difference between posterior stabilized has a box in it, cruciate retaining does not. Um, tibial side. Uh, we don't have to do a notch, we do a tibial cut. We already talked about the cutting block in the navigation video. So this block here would just be adjusted on the patient up or down 
to the depth of cut that they want with a navigation tracker attached, like we showed you before, medial. So it would look like that. They'll adjust this up and down. They have macro adjustment this way and then micro adjustment this way. They'll set it, usually put two pins in, and then they'll pull this stuff off and then they'll usually do some kind of alignment to decide their, um, set their rotation if they like the way that it's sitting uh, in line with the tibia. So some, there's a couple ways to do that, um, and there's also gap balancing, which we'll talk about later. Um, but they'll decide that, then they'll cross pin this, all the stuff would come off. The only thing that will remain on the patient would be this block right here. We'll stay on the patient. You'll make your tibial cuts, pull the stuff off, get your tibial cut off the uh, resection of the bone, and then you go to sizing. And if uh, it'd be close to a four, if we were on a four, we would probably trial with a four uh, tibial base plate. And uh, this is what you would trial with. So you'd have a femur tibia, pin this down, put a piece of poly in there, similar to that, and trial. And you're just about done. That's it.